Hi, Aunt Liz. Morning, Mark. Do you have any idea what a five-letter word for put down in black and white could be? Hmm. I'm not sure. Oh, well. I'll come back to it. These all the orders for today? Yeah, that bunch right over there. And it's hot out today, so stay hydrated, okay? You got it. Hey, Mark. Yeah? Thanks for putting in all the extra hours lately. It's right. Hmm? With a W. Excuse me? Sir? What are you doing? Feeding the ducks. What were you writing? Uh, nothing. Would you like to give them a piece? No, I don't, I don't think I should. Why not? It'll crowd the path of the people. What's your name? Mark. What's yours? Evelyn. Beautiful way. It's not right. What? Feeding the ducks. The people need to get through. It's not right. That's fair.
What about the ducks? They look pretty hungry. Wouldn't you say feeding them is right? Mark, what are you doing here? I didn't think you were working today. There's something I need to tell you. What's wrong? You don't look so good. I messed up. I, I got there late and the, the flowers were all wilted and I, I don't know what I could have done. There was this guy with his wallet Mark, and I- take a breath. Calm down. Have a seat and tell me what happened. I failed the last delivery yesterday. I'm sorry. Oh, Mark, it's only one order. It'll never happen again. Every order I do from now on is going to be perfect. Actually, there's something I need to tell you. The shop is closing. What? There's a bill due at the end of the week and we just don't have the money for it. We've been pinching pennies for a while. It, it was only a matter of time. How much? A little over 1200 I can do it. I'm gonna get you that money. Mark, please. These things happen. It's not your burden to bear. No. If this shop's important to you, I'll get the money. You don't have to worry about a thing. So, Mark, what makes you qualified to work in my gas station? Uh, well, Mr. Dabrowski, as you can see from my resume, I have a lot of experience. You think I care about silly piece of paper? I care about what kind of man you are. How many goats you can lift? I, I don't... what? Let me tell you a story, Mark. In North Village, it is uh, a well. One day, well goes dry. Big problem, yes. Mama need water, Papa need water, animal need water, my son, Maximilian need water. His family. So I take two goats and close on my back to go and find water. Three days, two nights. Second night, I kill one of goat and eat it. Oh, God, I'm sorry. It's okay, with bad goat, only three leg. But on third day, miracle. While digging grave for God, I find water. I save family. This is why I work. What about you, Mark? Why do you work? I work to help everybody. <laughs> everybody? Come on, why do you work, Mark? I need to help my aunt. You're a good man. You start tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dabrowski. I will not let you down.
Yeah, I'll have it all by tomorrow. <sighs> no, I just, just had some extra money saved up. It's no big deal. Yeah. All right. All right. Love you too. All right. Bye, Liz. Hey, hey, come on, break it up. Who the hell are you? Yeah, stay out of it, dumbass. Whatever the problem is, I'm sure we can work it out. I told you, man, stay out of it. What am I supposed to just stand here and let you two fight? Maybe if you didn't have to be such a hero, you wouldn't have gotten robbed blind. What? Oh, shit! Come on, hurry! Thanks. I had to try and stop the fight. I, I had to help. I'm, I'm sorry. No. You made choice. I cannot pay you. I have to fix shop. No, no, Mr. Dabrowski, you I need that money for tomorrow. My aunt needs it, please. I need family too, Mar. I told you. I work for family first. But, Mr. Dabrowski. Good night, Mar.
Mark? Ah, I see. So you chose to save the flower shop? I didn't want to. To save the shop? To choose. What should I have done? Am I supposed to let the shop die? Am I supposed to steal? Either would be fine. What are you talking about? How can I be okay with doing either of those things? You remind me of my old self. What? Yeah, he said my style lacks inspiration. He doesn't know what he's talking about, Evelyn. He's a professor. So what? Old man. Probably hasn't been the same since Kennedy was shot. I have to start over. Who are you making it for? What? I mean, are you making this project for your professor? Or are you making it for yourself? That's the thing, Evelyn. You're always trying to be perfect for somebody else. You get a full-time job while you're at art school to please your parents. That's why you're always so bummed out all the time. When are you going to start living for yourself? I've got something to show you. I saw you singing in a photograph But I never learned your name Look, whatever you end up doing for your project, it's gonna be great. Just as long as it's you, you know? Can't really worry about being perfect all the time. It's kind of the nature of life, right? Imperfection. But I could settle for this. Mark. I'm sorry. There has to be a way. Some way I could have done it all right. You can't. You can't paint for your professor and yourself. You can't feed the ducks and keep the path clear. You can't save the shop and hold on to the money. You have to choose, Mark. And you have to be able to live with it. 
He can't do it all right. Hey Mark, hope you're doing well. I thought you were gonna stop by the shop today. That's okay. Anyways, business is picking up again and it wouldn't be possible without you. So thanks. It really means the world to me, Mark. Hi, Mark. Just checking in again. Um, you missed your shift at the shop today, and it's not like you. I'm scared, Mark. I need to know what's happening. I haven't heard from you in days. Please, Mark, call me back. Mark, pick up. Pick up. Mark, please answer the phone. I'm worried sick about you. It's been over a week. I'm begging you, just give me a call. Something, anything. I can't take this anymore. Please, Mark. I need to know you're all right. Evelyn was right. Choices have to be made. Choices that give way to imperfection. I can't escape it. Not here. Not in the life I had. I tried my best. For a while it worked, but the true nature of my situation revealed itself. I could no longer go down the path that was set. I had to leave it behind. I couldn't risk not doing right by the people I care about. I'll find it. A life free of choice. And if it doesn't exist, I'll build it myself. My own perfect world.